Hello, it's good to be back after a little while away from the camera. Uh, in this free video drum lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play the main drum beat from the song Knights of Cydonia by Muse, drums by Dominic Howard. And in this video, I'm going to show you three simplified versions of the main drum beat and also um, a variation that occurs in the song. So you just heard me play the main drum beat and the variation. Um, and uh, we're going to get to that later in the video, how we actually play that drum beat. But we're going to sort of build it up in complexity, three levels of, of, of simplicity, building up to the actual version of the drum beat. Um, so before we get into the actual meat and potatoes, um, I'd just like to let you know that you can get hundreds of videos just like this uh, available in my Drum Masters video song pack, which you can purchase from my website. You'll find links beneath this video. Um, I deliver it straight to your front door, not me personally, the postman does obviously. It's available on DVD discs um, and uh, I think it's, it, it's great value for money, so please do check it out. Okay, so to start off with, we just have to understand what the bass drum and snare drum are basically doing. Um, they're being played on beats one, two, three and four. There's actually a really simple um, groove drum beat. Bass drum on one, snare drum on two, bass drum on three, snare drum on four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So the bass drum snare drum is quite simple really. What makes it quirky uh, and offbeat is um, Dominic playing the offbeat hi-hats on the ands of each beat. So in between each bass drum and snare drum we've got a hi-hat being played on the and. So one and two and three and four and the first half of the bar is the same as the second half of the bar so it's simply four notes one and two and bass hi-hat snare hi-hat. So bass snare bass snare but with a hi-hat in between. That's what gives it a sort of offbeat, quirky feel because the hi hat's pushing on the upbeats. Ignore that. I will. Okay, so um, let's play it up to speed. I can't actually hear the um, metronome. I've taken my um, earphones off for a change. So uh, I won't, I won't uh, baffle your ears by playing out of time with the click, but it was it rough, roughly dip, 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 one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and... The tempo is 135 BPM by the way, if you want to practice it with just a click. And this drum beat occurs 49 seconds into the song. You know which one it is, it's the main drum beat that goes throughout the song, but it occurs for the first time at, at 49 seconds into the song. Okay, let's now take a look at the next level. We're going to add some more notes to it. Um, the simplified version of the drum beat, level two. So the next thing we can do is we can add an extra bass drum note. Now Dom actually plays this version of the drum beat, I noticed, in one of his live performances. It might have been a Glastonbury performance. I uh, did a little bit of research. I, I always watch the live videos when trying to work out how the drummer plays a drum beat because you'll find that they change it over time. Um, so uh, the recorded version, the studio version, is what I'm actually teaching you here. But when you hear him play it live, he definitely changes it because the dynamics are different on stage. You've got extra musicians, percussionists usually on the side of the stage playing with Dom. It won't be necessary for him to play all, all the parts. But what we got here is a version I did hear him play. A very, very simple version really compared to the actual version. And all we're doing now is compared to level one, we're just adding an extra bass drum with the snare drum on beats two and four. So we're actually playing the bass drum on all four beats of the bar. One, two, three, four. Same hi-hat snare drum pattern over the top. We're just adding that extra bass drum in on beats two and four at the same time as the snare drum. So we get this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and a bit faster. One and two and three. It gives it a kind of a driving feel. The bass drum is pumping along and up to speed roughly. More of a kind of a dance beat really, but it works really well for this song because it's driving, it's powerful, it's punchy, it's on the, it's on the downbeat. Dun, 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 dun. So the bass drum emphasizes that. Okay, so now let's take a look at level three.
Okay, so now we're getting more to the actual drum beat. It's going to start to sound uh, more like the drum beat on the recorded version. Um, and uh, certainly it's going to become a little bit more tricky now. Um, we've now got offbeat 16th notes, E's and Er's appearing in between 1 and 2 and 3 and 4, and we get some 16th notes occurring on the bass drum. Um, and the bass drum, the extra bass drum notes occur before the snare drum on the uh of one and before the snare drum on the uh of four. So the 16th note before each snare drum on two and four, we get a little push with the bass drum. And this simplified version of the drum beat is really what you want to aim for um, because it, it sort of, it, 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 it replicates the driving feel, the push, pushing forward effect that you get on the recorded version. If you can't play this version, obviously you've got level one and level two, which will, which will work perfectly fine, but level three sounds more like the actual drum beat, as we'd expect as we get closer to it. So um, again, bass drums just before the snare drum one, two, and four. And the way that works is you're playing the hi-hats on the ands, on the and of one. Let's, let's, let's do the first half of the bar, because actually both halves of the bar are the same as each other. So let's take a look at the first half. On the hi-hat, after the hi-hat on the and of one, we're gonna drop the bass drum in, in between the hi-hat and then the snare drum on beat two. And a two, and a two. It's three evenly spaced notes. So if we play up to beat one, we get this. One and a two. 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 So that bass drum pushes into the snare drum. Doom, do that, doom, do that. This is the bass drum pattern. So let's take a look at um, uh, beat two. And we, we basically got the same as the other versions. It's snare drum on two and um, hi-hat on the ands. Um, so if we just uh, play beats one and two in a loop, in effect playing the whole bar, because like I say, the first half is the same as the second half, we get this. One and a two and three and a two. I'll count it properly. I'll count the whole bar. I'm confusing myself. I'm probably confusing you. Let's play the whole bar slowly. One and a two and three and a four and one and a two and three and a four. And because this is quite important, let me slow it down even further. One and a two and three and a four and one and a two and three and a four and and a bit faster. One and a two and three and a four and one and a two and three and a four and one and a two and three and four. One, two, three, four. I think that's roughly right, it's tempo. Yeah. Right, so let's now take a look at the actual drum beat, which is simply adding some more notes to what we've just done at level three. Okay, so let's take a look now at the actual main verse drum beat. Um, and it's exactly the same as level three, except we've got another bass drum note. Um, and the extra bass drum note occurs on the uh of beat two and the uh of beat four. So what we got now is we've got a bass drum on beats one and three, as we had right back on level one, but we've also got a bass drum on every single uh of the beat, on the uh of one, the uh of two, the uh of three, and the uh of four. We've already, learned, we've already looked at the uh of one and three, the bass drum notes pushing into the snare drums on two and four, but with this extra bass drum note on the uh of two and the uh of four, um, we actually get two bass drum notes next to each other. So um, beat one to beat two, we get this, a two, bass snare. Beat two to beat three, we get this, a three, two bass drum notes in a row. Beat three to beat four, we get this, a four, bass snare. And then obviously when it loops around beat four to beat one again, we get a one. So um, we get this, this rhythm, one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one, play between the bass drum and snare drum. So let me just play the bass drum snare drum part slowly. We get this, one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three. 
three and a four and a one. A bit faster. One and a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four, a one. That's pretty close to the actual tempo. So we can now put the hi hat in on the ands, um, and it, again, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to drop just after the hi hat on the and. The extra bass drum note will. So we're going to get this every time. We're going to get um, from beat one to beat two, we get and a two, as we previously explained, and then beat two to beat three, we get and a three. Two different ways of playing um, after the hi-hat note on the and. And a two, and and a three. So you've got to learn both those ways. Let's play the whole drum beat nice and slowly. There's no other way of explaining it, it's just best to dive into it. Let's play it nice and slowly, counting out and out. Here we go. One, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a one. Even slower, I think. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one. A little bit faster. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four one. And a little bit faster still. One and a two and a three and a four and a one. Pretty close to the actual tempo now. By the way, I'm losing my left bass drum foot for this section, closed hi-hat. I'm actually left footed with the bass drum, right handed with my sticks. Please don't ask why. Um, I get really bored of answering that question. I'm sure you're really bored of perhaps in earlier videos me explaining that. Um, but uh, I'm actually playing with my main bass drum foot for this because it's actually quite a fast bass drum pattern. I can play with my right foot, but it won't be as good as my left foot. So I want to give you a good performance. Um, so don't get confused by the fact I'm swapping over bass drum feet. You'll be playing with your main bass drum foot for all these patterns. Okay, up to tempo. Do, 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 da, one, two, three, four. Okay, so there's the actual drum beat. You can sort of hear it now. Etc. 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 That's why I'm a drummer, not a singer. Okay, enough of me farting about. Let's now look at the variation that occurs later in the song. Well, actually, yeah, later in the song. Here we go. Okay, so this variation occurs at around 1 minute 24 into the song. It's kind of like a, a, a little drum fill idea. Um, there's actually no official drum fills in, in, in this section of the song. It's just driving drum beat. That's all that's required. But Dom, to add a little bit of flash, a little bit of pizzazz, a little bit of excitement, um, does throw in some extra notes to give the drum beat some variation, to give his part perhaps a bit more interest. Uh, you know, just, just just to make it a bit more exciting for him to play live, maybe I don't know, but um, it, it certainly you can you can hear it. There's this there's extra floor tom note, this big bassy floor tom note being thrown in, um, and it only occurs for a couple of bars, and it's back to the main drum beat. It's kind of like um, every 16, 32 bars he throws in this little pattern, um, and like I said, it occurs at one minute twenty four, and the actual drum beat we had the bass drum being played on a three. Um, and what Don does is he replaces that first bass drum on the earth with the floor tom played by the left hand. So beat two is where the only difference occurs compared to the main drum beat. And beat two is this, two and a three, two and a three. And ba ba beat three is a bass drum, two and a three, two and a three. Now what you get is you get right left bass. You get like a, almost like a bottom triplet. Right left foot, right left foot, right left foot. I happen to be pretty good at these. I, I find that, that that linear style lick quite easy to play. So I can play it reasonably fast, quite comfortably. You might find that quite tricky. Two and a three. Two, uh, two and a three. Two and a three. Two and a three. So you might want to practice just this. Right left foot, right left foot. Right left foot, crossing your hands over as you would when you actually play the drum beat. Weird. Um, but that's a good way of practicing it, perhaps. Two and a three. You can do it this way. Two and a three. Two and a three. 
But this is just to start off with, going to get the motion nice and smooth, make all three notes evenly spaced to start off with, think of them as triplets, just so the motion becomes smooth. Okay, so that's the only difference. There's this extra floor tom on the uh of two of each bar. So slowly, the drum beat sounds like this. One and a two and a three and a four and a one. Remember this is extra bass drum on the uh of four still. We still get the uh one at the end of the bar. We just got the floor tom replacing the uh on beat two. I've explained that, then we play it again. Here we go. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one, two, three, four, one, two. So you might want to practice like a two bar loop or something. You could play the main drum beat once and then the variation once. You could do something like this. Just so you can get used to going from one to the other. It's up to you, of course. So there you go. That's, that's the um, variation that occurs um, um, later in the song. Um, and it happens a couple of times during the first half, because the second half of the song is actually different, as you, as you probably know. Um, so I hope you found that useful. You can email me. Um, I prefer you contacting me on my Facebook page. Please do um, like my Facebook page. Um, that's where I tend to update people the most. That's where I tend to hang around the most when I'm online. So uh, yeah, please do join my Facebook page. Check out my Drum Masters video song pack. Sell, sell, sell. Apologies. And um, yeah, see you next time. Bye.